Now we all have heard about Llama 2, which is an LLM, which is three months old. And we have a new member in our arena, which is Mistral 7B, that claims to outperform Llama 2 13B on all benchmarks, but with almost half the parameters. Now Mistral talks big. Let us have a boxing champion or LLM boxing for these two models. Let's get started. So what we do here is, if I begin the test, we have different questions and it is your duty uh, as an user, we can choose the best answer, what we feel uh, pertaining to this question and we need to click on your preferred choice. So for this question of provide a beginner's guide to investing in the stock market, which uh, response do you think is the best? provide a beginner's guide to investing in the stock market so the investing in the stock market can be a great way to grow your wealth over time here are some steps to get started as a beginner research before investing it's important to research different companies and industries to understand what might be good create a budget determine how much money you can afford to invest without putting yourself in a difficult financial position open a brokerage account you will need to open a brokerage account with a brokerage firm to buy and okay and here Sure, here's the beginner's guide to investing in the stock market. To get started, you need to open a brokerage account and fund it with the money you can afford to lose. Then research and choose a, a few high quality uh, diverse stocks that aligns with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Consider factors like company financials, industry trends and competitive advantage. Set a long term strategy and avoid frequent buying and selling and uh, fees and taxes uh, as fees and taxes can eat into your returns. Finally, keep an eye on your portfolio and adjust as needed. The Llama 2 13 billion parameter answer, I like it, and so Mr. L7B got a hit, so 4 health remaining. Winner is uh, Llama 2 13 billion chat. Next, uh, let's move on. Next round, enter. I have a golden retriever puppy. Could you recommend a type of food that is healthy and suitable for her growth? For a healthy and balanced diet for your golden retriever puppy, I recommend a high quality protein rich diet with a variety of nutrients. A good option is, uh, is a balanced uh, dog food, especially. Spe formulated for puppies which should include a mixture of meat grains fruits and vegetables it also is important to ensure your puppy is getting enough water and that her diet includes sufficient amount of calcium phosphorus and vitamins avoid feeding your puppy human food as some of can be harmful or even toxic to dogs not bad certainly for a growing golden retriever puppy i recommend a high quality puppy food that is rich in protein moderate in fat and contain appropriate levels of calcium and phosphorus phosphorus to support bone development Look for a food that is made with the name protein source like chicken or lamb and contains no fillers and uh, or byproducts. Additionally, choose a food that is easily digestible, doesn't contain artificial preservatives or additives. A balanced and nutritious diet will help your puppy grow into a health, happy and uh, healthy adult dog. I really like this one, I don't know, but yeah. So this is uh, in this round, Mistral 7B wins. Let's enter to the next round. Photography has always intrigued me. Can you explain the rule of thirds and how it helps a good composition? So what is the rule of third in photography? I don't know. Let's see. The rule of third is a fundamental composition technique in photography, which involves dividing the frames into nine equal parts using two equally spaced horizontal lines and two equally spaced vertical lines. The idea is to place the most important elements of the composition along these lines or at their intersection to create a more visually appealing image. This technique helps to create balance and harmony in the photograph by distributing the visual weight evenly and drawing the viewer's eye to the main subject. By following the rule of thirds, photographers can create more dynamic and engaging compositions that are easier for the viewers to understand and connect. Certainly, the rule of third is a fundamental uh, principle of photography that involves dividing an image into thirds, both horizontally and vertically, uh, creating nine equal parts. This technique helps photographers create more balanced and visually appealing composition by placing important elements along the lines or in the intersection. By doing so, images become more dynamic and engaging uh, in drawing the viewer's eye uh, through the frame rather than static and uninteresting. Additionally, the rule of thirds can help create a sense of depth and perspective, adding depth and dimension to the final image. Actually, both these answers are pretty good, pretty similar, but I will, although this, uh, I think the grammar is good here, although it has, uh, you know, bad grammar compared to this on the left, but I would like to go with the right one. So this round is won by Lama 2. Enter the next round. 
explain the concept of net neutrality in simple terms what is net neutrality sure i can help you with that net neutrality is that principle that all internet traffic should be treated equally without any discrimination or preference given to specific websites or applications this means that your internet service provider isp cannot slow down or block certain websites or apps and they must provide equal access to all contents on the internet the goal of net neutrality is to ensure that the image remains the internet remains a free and open platform for innovations and expression where anyone can create and share content without fear of censorship or restriction okay not bad other one is net neutrality is a principle that all internet traffic should be treated equally by internet services providers regardless of the source or type of content it this means that isp should not be allowed to block slow down and charge more for specific websites services or content in simple terms net neutrality ensures that the internet remains a level playing field where all websites and services have an equal chance to reach customers. I like this one better. Okay, Mr. L7B wins. Next round. Can you explain the main principle of Stoicism and how it can be applied today? Stoicism is a philosophy that emphasizes self-control, rationality and resilience. It teaches that individuals can overcome difficulty by accepting what they cannot change and focusing on what they can control. Stoicism can be applied today by practicing mindfulness, accepting what is outside of our control and focusing on our own actions and reactions. It encourages us to cultivate inner strength and resilience and to approach challenge with a positive attitude. By applying stoic principles, we can improve our mental and emotional well-being and lead more fulfilling lives. The other one is, sure, here is an explanation of the main principles of stoicism and how they can be applied today in one concise paragraph. Stoicism found by Zeno of Citium in ancient Greece emphasizes reason, self-control and inner strength to deal with life's challenges. The core principle also includes a living in accordance with nature, accepting what cannot be changed, and cultivating indifference to external events while focusing on what is within our control. Practical standards or applications of Stoicism today may involve developing a strong character through virtues such as courage, justice, wisdom. It's uh, going, I think uh, on the, the answer on the right is a little bit longer because the amount of things that it has said. Uh, it has just started to say, but on the left, it is quite concise, so I'm going to go left. Okay, so Mr. L7B wins. Next round, what are the key rules for chess beginners? As a helpful uh, assistant, here are key rules for chess beginners. Control in the center. Place your pawns in the center squares to control the pawns and limit your opponent's mobility. Develop your pieces. Move your pieces out from the starting position and develop them towards the center to attack your opponent's king and defend your own. Protect your king. Keep your king safe by castling, moving the king to the right of the board, side of the board, and placing a rook in front of it, and placing pieces to block potential attacks. Okay, here's some rules. Move pieces in a specific way. The king moves one square in any direction. The queen can move any number of squares. No, no. It is asking me to, you know, it's teaching me to play the chess uh, rules, but here it talks more about uh, not the sense of you know simple rules but the higher level rules for chess players so this is absolutely the left is the correct answer okay lama 2b uh, lama 2 13b wins next round is what are the key components to consider when setting up a personal budget when setting a personal budget there are several key components to consider this includes tracking your income and expenses setting financial goals identifying areas for improvement and making adjustments and needed it's also important to consider the timing of your budget as well as unexpected expenses or changes in a financial situation ultimately the key to successfully managing your finances is to be proactive flexible and diligent in tracing and monitoring your spending next on the right when setting up a personal budget there are several key components to consider first track your expenses to understand where money is going this will help you identifying areas where you cut back on your unnecessary spending and allocate funds more effectively next prioritize needs or wants such as paying electricity bills like rent mortgage utilities and grocery before allocating funds for discretionary items additionally create a savings plan and set aside some month some amount regularly whether it's for short-term goals emergency oh uh, i like this one better again lama to wins next round is there a correlation between high intensity interval training HIIT and increased cardiovascular health? Yes, there is a strong correlation between HIIT and improved cardiovascular studies. So health studies have consistently shown that HIIT can improve cardiovascular function, increase aerobic capacity and enhance blood flow to skeleton muscles. Additionally, HIIT has been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke and other cardiovascular conditions. On the right we have, yes, HIIT has been shown to improve cardiovascular health by increasing cardiovascular fitness, reducing blood pressure and improving blood flow to the heart and muscles. 
This is because HIIT involves a short burst of, ex of intense exercise followed by a period of rest, which increases the heart rate and improves cardiovascular endurance. Additionally, HIIT has been linked to reduce of uh, reduced risk of heart disease and stroke. However, it's important to note that the benefits of HIIT may vary depending on individual factors such as fitness levels and this. Uh, on the left, it says it is good, always good, positive, always, but in real life, it is not always positive. There can be some detrimental effects as well. On the right answer, I like the right answer better. Okay, Mr. 7B wins. Next round. I want to transition into a career in data science. I want to transition into a career in data science. What steps should I take? Transitioning into a career in data science involves a combination of education skills, building and networking. Here are some steps you can take. Pursue an undergraduate or graduate degree in a relevant field such as computer science, mathematics or statistics. This can provide a strong foundation in the necessary skills and knowledge. Acquire practical experience through internships, freelance works or entry-level positions in data science. This can help you build a portfolio of projects and gain real-world experience. Develop your skills through online courses tutorial. Okay, it is asking you to take degree and practical experience and some online tutorials. On the right, we have the transition into a career in data science. Focus on developing a strong foundation in statistics, machine learning, and programming. Gain proficiency in languages like Python, R, and SQL, and familiarize yourself with popular data science tools such as Pandas, Numbers, and Scikit-Learn. Addition additionally, practical practice working with real-world data sets and participate in online competitions or projects to showcase your skills. Networking with data science community can also help you learn about data opportunities, job opportunities, and stay up-to-date in industry. This is very concise. I like this. So Lama 213B wins. Now, so so, what do you think? Uh, tell me your results. So try this out and tell me your results on the chat uh, section. So what is it actually? Actually, uh, a few months ago, uh, Lama 2 came, uh, took the world by storm. And uh, this website put to test uh, by gamifying a comparison between the two. And it was found that uh, 22,000 people liked uh, Lama's response better than GPT 3.5. Now, since Lama is a clear winner, and we are testing out Mistral 7 uh, as compared to Lama. But uh, as of now, Mistral 7 is winning, but I don't know uh, the future. But uh, what I got is Lama 2 in my case. But you can see how it works. Questions are generated by GPT 4 using this prompt. I'm creating an app that compares large language models completions. Can you write me some prompts I can use to compare them? There should be in a wide range of topics. For example, here are some I already have. Example outputs. How are you today? My wife wants me to pick up some Indian food for dinner. I always get the same things. What should I try? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if the woodchuck chuck chuck wood? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. That's a tongue twister. What's a what's three cross uh, three times five divided by ten plus nine? I really like the novel Anadam by Neil Stephenson. Based on that book, what else might I like? Can you give me another? Uh, just give me the question separate outputs with a dash n. Uh, do not include numbers in the output. Now start your response with something like sure. Here are some additional prompts uh, spanning a number of different topics. Just give me the questions. Pretty good. So here it, here it is. Uh, you can share your results in the comment section and i will see you in the next video this is your host prompt engineer signing off